Morning. Oh. <laughs> Why are you doing Come on, Darn. Yes. Sir. You have entered the lair of Doctor Hornets. The Hornets' nest, as you might call it. I like. As I would call it. <laughs> Returning to our show in progress. The telethon. The operators and stockholders of the telethon are as pleased as punch to have you, a live audience. You are prohibited from giving the performers access to electronic devices, outside sustenance, or means of escape. They must learn there is no escape from the telethon. Thank you, and please enjoy the telethon. The telethon. The telethon. A lot? 
used to do it. Oh, dance solo! <laughs> Urethra 
Press line back, Steve. Franklin. Need some help, Club. buddy. Nope. That's my name. I should know your name by now, you're Ethro. You've been doing this show for a year and a half. Okay. All right. So what it is, uh -huh. is who here has ever heard of a thing? I have. Uh, Wait, who is not clapping? Who <laughs> has heard not of a thing? Hear of things. <laughs> what? I wasn't. Well, fuck you. <laughs> So anyways, Urethra. <laughs> Alright, uh, so, uh, why don't you roleplay oh, a thing right. for me? Oh, that's right. Oh, I need a thing in my life! Here's a thing! Woo! My life is better! It's the Urethra oh, Slime Bag Franklin thing of the month. I'm so glad I have the Urethra Slime Bag Franklin thing of the month. <laughs> why, why, why do we pause? <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> I ate the thing! Anyways, Urethra. <laughs> Here with just two people. No. Gotta have a third person. Yeah. So, so please make your hand say thanks for Mr. Hanks. Kid, what do I say thank you? But I sound like I don't mean it. Uh, how are you doing tonight, Mr. Hanks? Oh, something about my life that you guys might slightly identify with. Boy, am I pissed about it. <laughs> that thing sure does piss me off too. Hey, right? something that might be racist. Oh, oh, Mr. Hanks. Come on, Mr. Hanks. This is a... Come on, what? You're a... Hi, right? <laughs> All right. It just felt weird over there. I know, I didn't like it. Oh, I don't like you. You broke my heart last episode. Oh, I'm back on this side. Hello. Hi, Rita. Hey, Dollar. You're going to know talk to her. She's an evil and she's a jerk. Because she, she told me she was my girlfriend and she was just here on a job. No, I won't! I'm heartbroken, and I will be for years to come! Okay. I'm gonna have abandonment issues! Okay, buddy. That just hang out over silly. here. Hello! Hello. I just came actually to say goodbye. Oh, goodbye! Goodbye? Bye. Yes. But you already told me goodbye when you said you were- All right, buddy! Emotionally, this is a more of a physical goodbye than I am leaving the telephone. Oh. So, Wait, but what about the mission you had to, like, are you just abandoning yeah, that- you that you told us about last episode. Well, you see, I read an ad on Craigslist the other day. Uh -huh. It's always been my dream to captain a tall ship, and there's a tall ship that needs a captain, so forget this. I'm abandoning it. I'm going to go captain a tall ship. Isn't Going away your job commitment, just like your emotional commitment. Isn't that... My dreams. Hold on. Isn't that the plot of a family man's? <laughs> you need a friend. That's the one where he gets a time machine. It's actually real. We'll leave it up on YouTube. We'll leave right. your imagination as to which character makes the time machine. Anyone. Carl. In any case, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. She makes me sad when I see her. Okay, Mark. I got a defriender on everything now. Oh, okay. okay. And burn all those photo booth pictures. All right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have a really wonderful lineup of actors. We do have some wonderful guest acts tonight. Yeah, so uh, uh, first up. First up, we're going to have some great sketch comedy from a returning uh, favorite, LeBran. <laughs> After that, we're going to have some delightful stand up from somebody that we thought we were going to have at the very second show, and we said we're going to have her every show since then, and we never have, but I think she'll be here tonight. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Margaret Cho! 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 We have two chants in the show! Well, yeah, uh, I once again have bad news. No! <laughs> Margaret Cho will never come. <laughs> she, this is not a show that Margaret Cho will ever go to. <laughs> what? what, what? <laughs> ever. <laughs> All right. Uh, I ain't so. Urethra, you're the best. Thank you. All okay. right, well, who do we have up third? Up third we have, and it's his birthday, so please show a little bit of love. No, we not yet. Turn off that noise. <laughs> <laughs> I farted. <laughs> That's a good bit. Yeah. That's a good bit. That's a good bit. But, uh, it's his birthday with some musical know-how he's dropping on you, Mr. Richard Kraft.
stage! Hey, welcome! It's me, Dr. Wormel! <laughs> How are you doing today? Dr. Wormel, what are you doing with that bucket of acid? Oh, who gives a shit? Look what I have! <laughs> that's, that? a, that's a pen, Dr. Wormel. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Yes, I did. Like from scratch? Try it out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mark, where are you going to put in your heroin? <laughs> I just wrote Doc high. <laughs> yeah, you will get high later. <laughs> Doc Wormhole has all the good shit. <laughs> Dr. Wormhole, you're taking a frightful turn. <laughs> um. <laughs> Okay, okay, we don't... It seems like such a waste of ink. Alright, let's, let's just keep it... Alright. Hey, I'm, so... I'm drawing my track marks. What's going on, dude? Uh, hey... Hey, Dr. Dr. Rimmel, what are you doing here? Oh, you know, just chilling out with my buds. Uh, you know, I was gonna drop some PCP later, but, uh... Dr. Rimmel! No, no, where is this coming from? I'm kind of a kooky scientist, you know? Machine uh, that puts out a lot of acid. Uh, this is all really industrial grade shit. Um, do not put this near skin. <laughs> okay. And the machine cures tiny Tims. But what? Hey, what? See ya. What? See ya. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Who we said that? Goodbye. We love you too. Who is this person? They, Hello. They better not have got a refund, or I'll chase him down. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm hey, Doctor Wormhole, <laughs> you been a cure for tiny Tims? Yeah, no big. It's so cool. Double, you left. You can't come back. You broke my heart once. Go away. No, I'm the ship is sleeping. I'm here still. <laughs> but why are you gonna? Oh, hold on. So you invented a cure. You you invented a cure yeah. for Tiny Tim's disease. Yeah, in my spare time between trips. You go go dancing. Yeah, dude. Understand if he has a cure for tiny tins, there's no reason for us to be here anymore. I guess that makes sense why Dara would be here, because she's an unregistered nurse and she can help him administer. You don't have to spell it out, Marty. Everyone figured it out. No, no, but we never mentioned that she was a nurse. Oh, we did mentally. All right. Okay, but that and means that this is the last telephone ever. That's right. Okay. We're going to go uh, make some cures to cure my cute little friend. No. Goodbye. Well, then. Goodbye. Well, then here. Let's get our first guest act up here on the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, please get excited and make some noise for LeBron! Thank you, we are LeBron. <laughs> You told me you were just going to describe it to me second hand. I didn't think it was going to be that funny. But it was so funny. <laughs> and it crossed that boundary. Yeah. <laughs> it jumped that hurdle. If there was an audience here, I would tell them to give it up for the brain. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but there is no audience here! It's there! No, I would never let that happen. It's far too secret. Yes! We're very deep underground. Yes. I'm enjoying the story so far. I'm so glad. There, the dialogue is so kind of awkward. I took creative writing. And, and, and well, okay. <laughs> and everyone's kind of painted in broad strokes. It gives me the impression that this isn't probably exactly what happened. Which I like. Oh. I like that. Everyone looks like an idiot. They, they are. Did somebody really walk out? Yeah. That really happened. Yeah. Good old man. Why didn't the whole audience walk out? Yeah. Continue telling your story. Okay, sir. Well, as you know, Dr. Wormhole created a cure for Tiny Tim's disease. And I couldn't let that stand because then no. we can't weaponize no. it. No. Also, I don't like that character at all. No. no. I didn't know he was that drug thing. Where does he fall between uh, Urethra Franklin and yeah. Fish? Uh, fish? Yes. Where is he? In yeah, I don't know. He's generally somewhere there. Okay. He's in that wheelhouse of just things I don't like. Well. And that includes audiences <laughs> and fish jokes. Primarily fish jokes. You dislike many things. I like this like a lot. That's why I live here. I have something you're going to like. Oh, goody. <laughs> so, in order to stop Dr. Wormhole. I killed 
Thank you very much for your help in this experiment, Darla. <laughs> Can you please pass me the needle nose pliers? Thank you very much. That was very kind of you. Can you please pass the Bunsen burner? Oh, excellent. Just one more diagnostic and we shall have a cure for tiny dims. Hey, Darla, what are you doing? Why are you in my zoo? Darla, please stay away from the bobcat cage. I don't like bobcats. Oh, I am being mauled by a bobcat. It is my least favorite way to die. Understand the joke. <laughs> well, that's some sort of wacky invention that makes you look dead or something? I bet he's faking. Hey, I, you know what? I'm yeah. gonna go check Dr. Wormhole's magical castle. Okay. And uh, I'll see if there's something there that explains all this. You know, you should try to find something in his magical castle that we can play a joke on him with. Oh, good, good idea. I have to cross the moat first, though. <laughs> okay. Splash. Hey, Dr. Wormhole. <laughs> Dr. Wormhole, while we're alone, can we talk about girls? I understand if you're reticent. I know you sexually experimented, and that's why I thought I could talk with you. You tell me so much about your wild orgies in your jacuzzi, in your magical castle, that I thought maybe you could give me a little thing or two. Maybe some tricks on how to make someone like you. I'm lonely. Dr. Wormhole. Uh, Dr. so uh, everything seems uh, up to code in Dr. Warhol's magical castle. Okay. But yeah, his cougar, cougar, his bobcat cage is empty. All the bobcats are out. He kept multiple bobcats in one cage. Apparently. That just seems unsanitary for a lot of reasons. Seems like it also makes him mad. Yeah, like really mad, like person killing mad. Oh yeah. And why does he have a bobcat cage? He we all know he hates them. Yeah. Dr. Warhol, explain yourself. That's really great. Thank you. That's really funny. I took drama next. Oh, that's really funny. Thank you. I envisioned everything. It's very funny. Oh, I can't know. The depths were so ironic. And then what happens? Oh, okay, so then next, you know how you feel about Urethra Frank. Oh, uh, no! I grow tired of that name too. Oh, really? You will change Urethra Frank. <laughs> it's only one degree separate from the actual name. That is not so. <laughs> it is. It reminds me too much of it. So what's his name now? No, his name is... No, it's not funny. No. Yes. No. No, his name is... Butt Cheek Smooch. First name, butt cheek. Last name, smooch. Very immature. No. This is the right level of maturity. That man. That horrible man. You don't know what he did. Uh, I can't talk about it here. Maybe at another time. Well, establish what happened. Butt cheek, smooch. Yes. Has always been arrogant. And he always meddles and gets in the way. Yes, he does. So I have to kill him. Ah! Uh, so, uh, good news, bad news. Bad news first, uh, Dr. Wormhole is dead. And disregard my red hands. <laughs> they were red before. <laughs> you were all probably thinking it's a tip of the hat to blood, but it's not. It's just red hands. Sometimes you just get red hands. Uh, good news number one, I found out why they left. Uh, it turns out that they thought that this was a strip club. Uh, and they did get a refund. Uh, uh, bad news. 
Oh wait, good news is that while Dr. Warhol is dead, our good friend Darla has agreed to use the cure. Okay. Uh, she's going to cure Marty and we can still leave. So I, butt cheek smooch, have decided that I'm going to dedicate my final time here at the telethon to giving a speech about how much we appreciate Dahl. Uh, so, where do we begin? We met Dala about four months ago. And at the time, she was very suspicious because she's an unregistered nurse, which seemed very odd. And then number two, she would drop into a Russian accent every now and again. Yeah, that's right. Mm. Oh. Uh, but then, all of our suspicions were born out to be true when she said that she was a spy sent to murder us. Yeah, that's right. She, Nancy Rose is following along. Uh, and I, I can't identify anyone else in the audience. Um, and, uh, but then I realized that if you tell the truth, you tell the entire truth. So, she can't be up to anything suspicious anymore. <laughs> Dr. Wormhole is dead. Now, I obviously have not killed him. And Darla hasn't killed him because she said that she's a murderer. And if you say the truth, then you don't murder anymore. <laughs> <laughs> So obviously, if it's not me, and it's not Dala, and Mr. Hanks is always up there, then it has to be Marty. <laughs> Marty killed Dr. Wormhole because he wants to stay at the top. Are you kidding me? Marty! Marty! You think that Marty has the foresight and the, to, to plan and carry out a murder? <laughs> no, sir! <laughs> Marty has the mental capacity of a child! <laughs> the only person here who is smart enough, conniving enough, and dedicated to plan a murder and follow through on it is me! Marty, my gosh. You know what? I have always disliked you. Oh. It's true. <laughs> always. And I knew that one day I was going to be in a position where you were going to be in a position where you couldn't do anything to stop me from the position that I'm in for getting you. And that day is today. <laughs> so butt cheeks moosh. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy this. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our next guest act, Richard Griff. Very soon. 
really have to go. Oh, so, Darla, I'm, thanks a lot for saving us. I'm gonna miss you still. I'll miss you a little bit. Bye, Darla. Bye, buddy. Just about at the end. So uh, once again, I'd like to thank our guest, Axel Brad.